Once upon a time in a sky not so far away, a curious little moon named Mooney decided it was time to learn about his shapes and stages. Mooney, round and cheerful, lived high above the earth, watching over the nights. Each evening, he marveled at his changing appearance but didn't quite understand it. Mooney had a best friend, Starla, a sparkling star who was as knowledgeable as she was twinkly. Starla, why do I keep changing shapes? Mooney asked one starry night. Is it magic? Starla giggled, her glow sparkling even more. Oh, Mooney, it's not magic. It's science. Let me explain. Each month, you go through a special dance called phases. These phases happen because of how you move around the Earth. Mooney's eyes, which were big and round like a full moon, got even wider. Really? A dance? Tell me more. All right, Starla said as she began her tale. You start as a new moon. This means you're almost invisible from Earth because the side facing it isn't lit by the sun. People can barely see you. Starla pulled out a cosmic chalkboard from Stardust and drew a small dark circle. Mooney blushed. No wonder I feel so shy sometimes. Exactly. Starla twinkled. Then you move into the waxing crescent phase. You start to peek out more like a little smile in the sky. Starla drew a small crescent. It's like growing confidence. Mooney laughed, relating to the feeling. Next is the first quarter. Half of you is lit up, looking like you're split in two. Starla continued, illustrating a half moon. You're halfway there. Mooney wobbled with excitement, his round shape glimmering. Then comes the waxing gibbous stage. You're almost full, but not quite. It's like when you're really close to finishing a big project. Starla sketched a nearly complete circle. And then, Mooney interrupted eagerly, and then you become a full moon. Starla exclaimed, your whole face lights up, shining brightly for everyone to see. It's your time to shine. Mooney beamed with pride. But the dance doesn't stop there. After the full moon, you start to shrink again, moving into the waning gibbous phase. Starla showed a slightly less full circle. It's like settling down after lots of excitement. Mooney nodded, intrigued. Then there's the last quarter. Once again, you're half lit, but it's the opposite side this time. Starla drew the half moon on her chalkboard. And finally, the waning crescent. You're just a sliver again before becoming a new moon and starting the dance all over, Starla finished. Mooney twirled around in delight, understanding his month-long journey for the first time. Thank you, Starla. I can't wait to see my shapes and stages every month. With that, Mooney and Starla continued their night watch, knowing they'd always shine brightly through their cosmic dance. And from that day on, whenever you look up at the night sky, remember the story of Mooney and the fantastic lunar dance he performs, all thanks to his friend Starla's brilliant lesson.